And then there was one. Then there was one. And then there was one. We all come to – we need the drum roll here because this is big because either this quarterback is number one or outside of your top 40. This is crazy, <laughs> right? There's no in between here. There's only one spot left. Tom Brady finally made it to one. <laughs> <laughs> and this tier is simply a crown. He is the king He's the of king. the NFL yeah. right now. Your number one quarterback for 2023 is... Patrick Mahomes. Shocker. All right. Yep. Captain Obvious right here in Chris Sims. That's right. It's Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just because he won the Super Bowl, but that does help. Okay? That does help. He's the man. And I think the one thing you'd say right off the bat, I'd go, it might be the best QB season in the history of the NFL. I, I, I really believe that. You know, I kind of dabbled with that right after they said won the Super Bowl. You heard me say that. But I think after going back and watching a lot of their year two different times here, uh, it's it's unreal. I mean, one, you kind of alluded to it. He's got the blend of Burrow and Allen together, right, where he can go five drives in a row and you're just going, he's surgical like Joe Burrow. And then all of a sudden two, three drives, the next two, three drives, you just go, holy shit, it's one unbelievable backyard play like Josh Allen after another right it's unreal so and and like to throw for 5,000 yards 500 yards more than anybody else in football and the guy who was in second and Brady right who had a great year too threw the ball almost 100 times more than he did okay to lead the league in touchdown passes by what five or six touchdowns right you know quarterback rating second in the league 14 and three number one seed MVP of the league, MVP of the Super Bowl, won the Super Bowl not 100% and went through the AFC playoffs not 100% and beat what I say, and I think there's a lot of people in football would tell you is the the most well-orchestrated team we've seen in football maybe in the last 10 to 12 years in the Philadelphia Eagles and beat them in the Super Bowl. I say that's the greatest season in the history of the NFL mm. by a quarterback. Better than his own 50 touchdown season. That's right. I mean, that was amazing. And that was maybe the mo- one of the most wow ever. But I can't put it in, in this overall. On the cusp of coming, you choked at home in the AFC Championship game against the Bengals. On the cusp of, you, you're going to get exposed this year. You don't have Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Looks like somebody got the last laugh there. I mean, what were people thinking by thinking that that was going to be the difference? All right. My homie, your homie, my homie, your homie, whenever he's on, I watch my <laughs> homie, your homie, my homie, Mahomes and me. And he's back number one for you because yeah. he was number one in 2020. 2021, and then you had the gall to drop him to number two right? for your guy, Josh Allen. And I remember that podcast. I was sitting here doing it with you, and I was like, you think Josh Allen will carry this number one ranking for the rest of time now just because I knew you liked him so yeah. much? And it does seem like he has – he's just such a big guy and he, what he brings running the football. Um, but Patrick Mahomes saw your ranking last year and was like, no – I can be back in number one, number one again. So what, what, what specifically, and you've, you've mentioned it, the backyard plays, but what made you fall in love with him again as you, as you did this practice and watched the film over and over again? I, I think that he reined it in. He fixed a few issues with his game. I think his foot was an issue two years ago. Yeah. His running was better. The biggest thing, though, is decision-making and throwing was as good as I've ever seen him you know, have in his career. His his mechanics were off last year. If we went back to last year in 2021 and I showed you plays and throws, I'd go, look at his mechanics. Look at this ball. You know, it's not even spinning the way he's capable of spinning. It doesn't even have the right power that he's capable of. He was off on all of it. This year, you know, like I said, it became more of a, a blend and the traditional QB play with the mix of the backyard stuff. And then you know, it's it's the it's yeah, it was the ability to string drives together and play at a high level of quarterback play, but then still go, whoa, here's you know, in the next drive where, you know, oh man, this defense was all over it or there was nothing there to be had and they still drive down and score a touchdown, right? I, I think that's that's what's amazing. He's the king of, you know, making something out of nothing or if nothing's there and you still go man the defense won oh but Kansas City still got 20 yards it's unreal how much you say that so it's that 
You know, and then I think, you know, I talked about Josh Allen saying if he took the top 50 throws in football, he'd probably have the most. Yeah. All right. Well, my my counter to that would be, but if you took the most, like, the most highlight plays of the year, Mahomes is winning that one. And, like, let me differentiate for everybody out there. You know, yeah, I said Al, uh, Josh Allen with the throws because I'm not counting 360 alley-oop pass, you know, against the Bucks as a throw. That's just a f- amazing play or run to your right do a shovel pass that has a spiral against the Los Angeles Chargers that somehow scores or run to your right against the Broncos and throw a ball like it's a loaf of bread and you throw it underhand and the guy runs through a 50-yard touchdown those aren't throws those are plays right so that's where He's amazing. Now, listen, he's up there in the throw department, too. I mean, we can go through it. It doesn't matter. I mean, two feet off the ground. We showed it on social media against the Chargers. Two feet off the ground, 50-yard post on the money. Boom. He has no feet on the ground, and his feet are parallel. Like, that's where it's just – it's it's amazing, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I can't say enough about it. You know, I again, like I said with other guys, Herbert's the best thrower on the run. Oh, no, but Allen's the best thrower on the run. Then I watch Mahomes, and I go – no, Mahomes is the best thrower on the run. Yeah, it's and, and it's incredible, and he's got the greatest hand in the history of the sport, and that's you know holds some value with me too. But where can he improve? You always can get better. You can't go higher in this list, but you always can get better. Matt Nagy, his new offensive coordinator, was there last year. Now has been elevated into the OC role after Eric Bieniemy went to Washington. Andy Reid, we know, still does a whole lot of the work there. But Matt Nagy was act- asked about that recently. He goes, what can he improve? He goes, huh. oh, you can always look to uh, go back to footwork and timing with any quarterback. I think the other thing would be working with his progressions. Instead of maybe trying to force a throw here or there, which I thought he did a good job of last year of making smart decisions, but working to that third, fourth, and sometimes that fifth progression in the play. It sounds like a coach is just like, just make sure you keep doing everything great. <laughs> yeah, right, right, <laughs> right, right. It's nitpicky stuff. Yes. There's not a lot, right? You know, and and you're gonna have to live with some of that too, because guys like him and Burrow and Allen Herbert and them too, right? Where you'd go like, technically, I'd like you to throw to the number three receiver here, but you know they can make throws where they can be like, hey, wait, get to one. And, oh, number two's barely open, and I got to throw it sidearm, but I'll do it. And they do it so much that sometimes it leads them to doing it one or two more times than you would like as a coach, right? Mm-hmm. But you got to live with that a little bit. There's one area. I think he has to improve on. Mm. And, it's, and I said this during the year, but it comes up when I watch again. His deep ball throwing. Mm. Again, here this is, it's Patrick Mahomes, right? And we, for years, were like, man, the deep ball, he's amazing. It's just one deep ball after another, and all they do is call deep plays and all that and all that. And it's like the NFL went so far into taking away all their deep passes that he hasn't had the opportunity to do it. And you and I, we sat here and clamored, can they have more of a short passing game and be surgical? And they've gotten way better at that. But I feel like within that, if there was one negative I could look at, is yeah, he left some plays and yards on the field with throws where I'd go, you're Patrick Mahomes, you should hit that, right? You know, he hits five other throws where I go, nobody ever in the planet could hit that ball. But yeah. it's still where it's like, hey, the pocket's clean, Valdez Scaling's open down the left sideline. Oh, we miss it, right? There's just a few too many of those that I would go, man, you're too freaking awesome to ever miss any of those. Um, but, you know, that that's, again, yeah. nitpicky. What do you think about his weapons, too? You, you mentioned Valdez Scantling. He's going to be one of the wide receivers. Kadarius Toney. Yeah. Sky Moore. Yeah. They did draft Rasheed uh, Rice. Rasheed Rice, right. second rounder. Got Travis Kelsey. Got Travis Kelsey, of yeah. course. And Isaiah Pacheco is. I think it's a really good group. I do. You know, I, I know there's no Tyreek Hill guy there, mm-hmm. right? But, I, you know, again, with a guy like Mahomes, I don't know if they necessarily need that. And Katerius Tony has enough of that, and I think enough of a weapon, that he'll fill the void, and then they'll fill the void with other certain guys and their skill set and whatever. But, I mean, this guy's the human highlight reel. Why do you think we need another guy that can make highlights to go along with him? He can, he can make it happen. Spend like we your saw. money on defense, I, I which mean, is kind of what they their exactly draft capital right. for sure. O line, right? That's yeah. what they're spending it on, right? I think they finally realized like we don't necessarily have to have that. Oh, he's a top three receiver in football to make this happen. If we got a lot of A minus and B plus receivers, we'll still have the best offense in football. You know, so that's where um, he's special. His ability to – I just want to say a few more things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I talked about, you know, his ability to – his feel and 
like talk about the things with Joe Burrow to go off script a little bit where you go like technically he should throw the ball here right but he's got such great feel and he goes oh wait I see this guy open and this guy made a mistake right where they seize the field in slow motion like Burrow does but instead of just going oh wait well the coach said I should throw it here he goes no 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 wait the guy that was my first read, and I came off to the second read, but I saw the first read pop back open, I'm going to still throw it to him. I mean, it's not something you want every young quarterback to do, but it's still unbelievable that he doesn't. He's been doing it his whole career. He's still the leader in, like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe he's going to throw that throw. Just like the Super Bowl. I mean, he's getting tackled and hit in the face and slapped in the head, and he's falling down. He throws a sidearm on third down. He's like, I mm-hmm. can still throw it to Kelsey Cross in the field sidearm as I'm got a guy that's 350 pounds and his 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 hand is in my face mask, right? And my ankles busted right. off. Right, and, and in my I, so that's where he's the greatest awkward off platform platform thrower in the history of the NFL. Nobody ever better. It's the greatest hand I've ever seen. I've never seen a guy who could stand in a gap between the right guard and the right tackle and throw a ball, you know, through the left ta- left guard and the left tackle. And you're like, what? And just we don't even blink. We don't. Even, we're at a point now where we just go, ah, oh, Mahomes, Mahomes, right? That's just that's what it is. And then his touch is off the charts good. I mean, he's he's. Think about all the throws he makes, a back coming out of the backfield, and he just touches it up there, and the guy goes and catches it. Or, you know, even the throw he had in the end zone, the, was it the first touchdown? You know, a little fade to the right sideline against the Eagles, right? Right. You know, just he's, he's amazing. And when his mechanics are the way they were this year, man, he's going to be tough to beat, right? He's the best scrambler ever. He's also a very good runner. Right, he wins more games where their team was outplayed than I've seen ever before, you know, or where the defensive game plan was perfect, and you go, they still won, right? I mean, the Titans game, I think about that. There wasn't four people open the whole game, and they just said, we're gonna throw it 67 times, and the the f- will find a way to get it done through for 400 yards. I, it's it's amazing, and it's you know, I know the quarterback rating wasn't any good, but I mean, when you talk about what was there to ha- be had and with that game, he's just amazing that way, and then the magic. I mean, yep. like we talked about, the team, the whole universe believes in Patrick Mahomes. The superlatives could just go on they and on. Could. Led the NFL in pass yards and touchdowns last year. First NFL uh, pass yards leader to win the Super Bowl. He was the first regular season MVP to win the Super Bowl since 99. First player to win multiple championships and multiple MVPs in his first six seasons. It's unreal. He's getting up there, though. He's <laughs> turning He's turning 28 <laughs> in September. So, yeah, I mean, so this, funny. This, he's not he's not 30 yet, but he's almost 28. Right. And so uh, we did this with our Sunday Night Football Twitter account. We go AFC quarterback experience and all the different years. The year Josh they're going Young. into because he's going into seventh year. He's going to go into his seventh year here. Got some rookies on there. And then Patrick Mahomes saw that. He quote tweeted it. He goes, dang, I got old quick. He's amazing. First <laughs> off, he's such a sports junkie. He watches everything and anything that has to deal with sports. And – I love that he gets involved in this stuff, whether he's watching a golf tournament, a basketball tournament, right? I think he's arguably the greatest athlete in football. And that's not that's really rare for me to say that about a quarterback, you know, because I, I don't always just go, you know, athletes into running and jumping, and that, that comes into play too when you talk about athlete. Yeah. But I know he can do both. He's a damn good runner, jumper. If you ask me, I have a, one guy hit a three-point shot in the NFL – to win me a million dollars, I'm going to pick Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I think if you're going to ask me one guy in the NFL that got to hit it within 20 feet of the hole playing golf from 180 yards out, I'm picking Patrick Mahomes. I think if you made me, you know, one guy with a baseball, you got to throw a strike from center field, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Patrick Mahomes. Swinging the bat, he'd be up there. I might pick Josh Allen. Josh Allen can really swing the he bat. Did. He did. Recently, he's in I Toronto. Know, like but he's up there. So that, but that's my point. You know, th- th- this is – this is special, and there's a mental and physical toughness about the guy that we don't give credit to to the all-time greats sometimes because we just go, oh, they're so gifted, right? Mm-hmm. You know, Michael Jordan was both. He was so gifted and had that, and I think that's what this guy is too, and that's why I think he's comparable to, to Michael, Michael Jordan. And then last thing, Ahmed, to play the way he plays and only have 12 turnovers is insane. I mean, insane. If we go back and watch some of the throws he made during the year and you go, he only threw 12 interceptions? 
when he threw, what, seven passes like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar this year and jumped up and threw hook shots across the field? It's, it's, it's unreal. We've never seen anything like him. He, he's in the GOAT status. He's mm-hmm. the king of the NFL. And I think he's arguably the most physically gifted quarterback we've ever seen in the history of football. And I don't say that lightly either because I think of a lot of Allen, Elway, Aaron Rodgers in their prime in that in that category. He does it all. Colors inside the lines, outside the lines, yes. does it with flair. Right. And just wins. And they've won two championships now. Travis Kelsey was recently on FanDuel TV's Run It Back. Right. Comparing their dynasty to the Warriors dynasty they were doing <laughs> on that show. And he goes, I think at the end of the day, Patty Mahomes finds a way to overtake it. What is it? They've got four championships. I think Pat Mahomes is definitely going to find a way to get more than four championships. Hopefully I'm still along for the ride by the time he gets there. So they would need three more. And it's hard to say in football, but we've seen it with Tom Brady and the Patriots. You got that quarterback. You got that piece. You figure out a way to play. I mean, would you would you bet against Patrick Mahomes at least winning? He's going to make it interesting. He, he's he going to make it interesting. And it just that quote in itself just tells you everything we're talking about. I mean, the, the, the guys in the locker room are looking at this guy going, we've never seen anything like him. It's, this is, the, this is a, a baller of ballers, right? Got moxie, toughness, whatever you want to say. The dude is the real deal. Uh, and, and, yeah, right now there's nobody bigger in the sport. There's nobody – the way he acts, the way he handles himself, the humble, the coolness, never changing from the way he got into the NFL, to me is just like – it's it's uh, it's really special, and, and we're watching a, a goat in the making. I won the mums tweets into us saying, what is the worst team that you could add your number one quarterback to and make them a Super Bowl contender? Oh. Because Washington seems to be ranked in the 20s in most power rankings, but I'd like our chances with Mahomes throwing to Terry, yeah. Dotson, Samuels. That, that, that's, a, that, that's a valid one right off the bat. He's right. That'd be, what, that'd be a team where you go, wait, with that defense and those weapons – and of course, now they got Eric Bieniemy there too. That fits too. But you know, even but despite all that, yeah, that'd be one where you, you know you you look at it and I'd go, oh no no no, that's a team that we're going maybe could be in the playoffs. But if he was the quarterback, we'd go, hey, they're a Super Bowl contender. Houston Texans. No, no. There's only so would, much you can do. Would they make the playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to see it first. But he he'd make them dangerous. I think he can make anybody a contender to make the playoffs. Almost, just about anybody. Well, you know, there's a few in there right now that, that maybe not, but but it, it, it that that's how special and that, that's really hard, and and in football that's rare, right? And that's to me where you get into the Mahomes, Allen, Rodgers, Brett Favre, John Elway, single entities that are so gifted that I think they can make almost just about any situation work. Yeah, not saying it means a Super Bowl win, but can make it work. There's no system dependence at all. And I think that's where that's a really, really rare class. Yo, 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 thanks for watching, homies. It's the off season, but you know there's no off season for us here at Unbutton. Me, Ahmed Farid, we're going to hit all the stories. So hit subscribe for us, okay? We got a ton coming up. My draft prospect rankings, my Sims top 40 quarterback countdown, and videos of me and NFL QBs playing catch and talking about their development and mechanics. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out, homies. See you soon.